everyone. We have a mess of binders in front of us because today I am finally graduating from all of these and moving on to the basic, oh, I hate that I'm saying it, but the basic K-pop white binder. I'm really just going with the flow, the white bookshelf, the white binders. When I first started, I started with these two binders and then I threw in this purple one, but they're only one inch and I could only find cute binders when they were one inch, um, but I have just outgrown these binders. Everything is like bursting at its seam. Well, this one's not a good example, um, but this one for sure is just, she's too stuffed and it's like starting to curve the actual binder itself. And even my two inch binders, they're just not doing well. Also, this is just all mom's eggs, so they're not doing the hottest. So I tried, I tried really, really hard to look for pretty colors of big binders and they just didn't work or I was trying to find just colors that match together and honestly, I really could not find a single thing. So I just went with white. I am gonna go ahead and move all these binders. It's gonna be quite a long video. I probably will talk through what I'm doing because a lot is changing kind of I think maybe not a lot I might just be dramatic and saying that a lot is changing but yeah let's just go ahead and get into it so the very first thing we're gonna do let's go through boy groups boy groups or girl groups let's do oh I don't even need these binders these are misc I think anyways let's go through the girl groups um, these are going to be my two inch binders. I grabbed a pack of four. So we're honestly going to start with like nothing in here. Um, but it's just going to give us room to grow. So the groups that are going to go in here are Itzy, Blackpink, and Dreamcatcher. Um, as far as girl groups, I do collect twice CLC and Red Velvet as well but they're really not like f a focused collection. I just keep what I pull. So these are just girl groups that I'm like dedicating to collect. I might collect twice later on. I will probably put Itsy first. They are a big focus. I don't know. I have like a lot of fun collecting Itsy. Um, yeah, I do. I do have like the grand time. Okay, nothing really is changing with Itsy, but I want to talk about possibly dropping some groups. Oh, these are going to be a pain to transfer. Maybe not that bad. A lot of these like bigger inclusion pages are probably going to be so annoying. I've been saving for a car and my spending habits have kind of changed a lot recently. Oh no, everything just shifted. They're working against me. They're working against me. While I have been saving for my car, I have been thinking a lot about my collections in a way because I just have like slowed down on it. I really, really want a new car. Uh, my car, my current car, she's great. I'm not moving out anytime soon. I really don't want to move out. It, I just live with my mom um, and the house is big enough for the both of us that we don't really like see each other unless we want to <laughs> i don't does that sound like rude i don't know but there's space there's space for both of us and it's not like oh i really really want to leave this house kind of vibe so i don't really have like much going on i do pay her rent and i pay like some odd and end bills but um saving for a car is so expensive <laughs> Especially while collecting K-pop, it's an expensive hobby. I'm sure most hobbies are expensive. I don't know. I don't have any other hobbies. Do I? Mm, I guess not ones that I pay for. Anyways, we're off topic here. So I'm just wanting to like reassess my collections. I don't want to drop like anyone that I'm fully like collecting right now because once I get my car, am I gonna be sad that I like dropped the collection? Also, I still haven't made like um, a divider for Dreamcatcher, so that's 
not good. So they're just gonna be like awkward back here. Um, but yeah, so I looked at like who I'm collecting and like I just look at my bookshelves quite often and I just took a look at who I am like not rushing to get albums for when they come out um, as like I had originally tended to because all the groups that I started collecting I wanted to go back to get their older albums but I also didn't realize that albums go out of print. <laughs> I was so naive. I do want to add some itsy cards. I had planned this type of spread while the limited album was like not announced. Um, so I had made the plan to collect the crystal ball photo cards, which I'm a little sad about because I traded Rujin's card. And she's so hard to collect. So, but I did find it on Makari. I'm probably going to do like a last hurrah on Makari because I, I know I literally just said I'm trying to save money. But I have a few things already in the warehouse, but I don't feel like it's reasonable enough to ship out. But I did set this up when like the limit. There's never a video where the mailman does not walk past my window. <laughs> um, love him though. Thank you for always delivering my mail. The limited pieces i think there's just one one like it comes with a set and then i think there's like one random for everybody but even with like the setup that i have now for leah it wouldn't have worked the way i well after seeing like not shy um i really like having a full page kind of the same thing with uh wannabe minus that don't look um so that's why i really wanted to collect them and while thinking about downsizing collections, I kind of was thinking about maybe like focusing on other collections to like collect full groups for some like Itzy, I would love to collect Itzy fully. I just really love it. Their photo cards and collecting them is fun for me. So that's kind of like my thought process, but I have no idea where I'm going to put like the limited one. Maybe I'll put it in like the spread of the other one. I don't really know what I'm going to do with these hidden cards. I don't think I want to collect a set like I originally wanted, but yeah. So that is technically my girl groups binder. It's literally only three groups in here, but she's a work in progress. Next up is boy groups. And just as the last binder, this one will only have three groups in here as well because I only collect three boy groups. Okay, that's that's a that's a lie. That's the biggest lie I've ever told. That was my bad. This is only gonna have VAV one week and TXT because TXT follows ITZY Blackpink Dreamcatcher, where I only collect like a member or two. Um, but one week and VAV are full group collections. However, they're like so tiny, they they don't justify having their own binder. I'm probably gonna keep it the same way that it's already like presented. We're gonna put VAV first. Still not finished with their collection. Probably not to be negative. Probably never will be. This spotlight collection is killing me. Uh, I saw Jacobs, but I saw it at $35, and when I was, like, just starting collecting them, I 100% would have bought it for that. Um, me now, no. It's out of print, though, and it's rare, so, like, I understand, but I'm just, like, do I spend $35 on one photo card, or do I spend $35 on, like, three? I just can't find them. I don't know how people did it. They're brave. So... We are going to go ahead and go through here. VAV don't have a comeback yet. I'm kind of hoping they are. Um, I don't know. I feel like they seem a little bit more active on V Live. I don't know why I'm going one page at a time. I feel like they seem a little bit more active on V Live, but I just might be like trying to put that into the universe that they're having a comeback. But I really, my wallet would probably prefer that they didn't. I, however, would prefer that. I mean, we got like the little singles for Aces Goodbye. Um, so that's nice. Also, I've seen like a few members, like Seasons Greetings, just this, not like their actual card on Makari. I feel like they're becoming a bit reasonable prices now, whereas before when they first came out, um, people were trying to 
like sell you the whole season's greeting kit which like i guess is kind of understandable but let's go ahead one we is having a comeback but i didn't create any fillers for them um <laughs> I'm a little sad because they are having one photo card, whereas like the last ones have included two photo cards. Okay, the album technically comes with two photo cards, but it's a photo card and a unit card. Whereas before they've only had like two sets of photo cards for the members and like your album included two. So if you bought five albums, you could collect every one. I'm a little sad because it's only coming with one photo card so in theory I need like 10 albums to collect everyone and I I don't know if I'm like willing to do that but also like I did buy 24 copies of Pentagon's albums so <laughs> um yeah the limits you know un unacceptable um this I still haven't found the last one of this um well I also haven't been looking so I guess technically I'm not really finished with this. Um, yeah. Also, I don't know where I'm going to purchase the new album. Mm, I'll probably put this like at the end. And I need to like do something about these bookmarks. This middle section specifically keeps like flying everywhere when I open my binder. So these binders that i'm like switching things out of i'm still gonna use them i'm probably gonna use like this two inch one for um like sleeves because i have one in a one inch binder and then like in random boxes it's quite annoying when i'm filming so i will be moving things in here i'll probably use a one inch binder to put like things that i'm wanting to trade and sell in there just to keep things organized i'll i'll find uses for them they're not going to waste there's already one collection that i am going to be expanding i just kind of want to like have a fuller collection of groups rather than having a large collection of i guess like albums i don't really know how to explain it i guess i just want to like have a bigger collection for groups that I'm like excited to purchase albums for, which I still listen to everybody that I have in these binders. I'm just not rushing to get certain groups stuff. Also, TXT just came back. Beautiful. Nothing but bops in that album. Um, I don't have the album, so like I'll talk about it more in the unboxing. Oh my gosh, it's so good. And they worked with Ash Nico. I love her so much. Oh, it's so good. I did go to Target to get the Target exclusive. Spoiler alert, it had it, ha it had me covered, um, but I only looked at the pools. I didn't like look at the full album because I just really wanted to save that for my collection. I was just in a mood and I went to Target and I just wanted to like have that rush of serotonin enter my body. So yeah, I don't have any fillers for that built out either, um, but TST are a collection that I really really want to start focusing a little bit better on because they're they're not a main focus um and I feel like that's mainly just due to me not being in the mood for it um but yeah so this definitely has like room to grow um I'm sure VAV and when we will probably fill it up the most next up is the first miscellaneous binder um now these miscellaneous one i guess technically two as well no that's a lie miscellaneous are the groups that i just keep my pools i don't collect photo cards for possibly in the future i would love to but as of right now they aren't one of those groups um and then miscellaneous two is going to be like my slow growing collections so like got seven i have no idea when they're gonna come back day six red velvet because they're just slow probably exo and bts just because they don't really come back quite frequently so i'm just gonna like put them in a binder of themselves and not that they're kind of on the chopping block they're kind of on like shaky waters for me because i don't know if i like want to continue them or has it just been like a while since they've come back that that's why i'm feeling that way in this binder we're gonna have 80 stray kids twice 
MCND, CLC, and CARD. CARD and CLC could probably go in miscellaneous too since they don't come back quite frequently. There are a few things changing in the AT section. I do have a kind of have a Junko collection going on. I kind of started collecting him and Chengkyung from Monsta X in like my off season of collecting when I first started kind of because I was caught up with collections and I just wanted to keep going to have like some fun and this was like my just because section but I really don't want to do it anymore because ATs is just a group that I happen to keep pools for. I would love to collect them fully. They're a group that I started standing pre-debut so I would love to collect them to the fullest extent but their photo cards are just so expensive, hard to collect because albums are out of print. So when I like rearranged the AT section because it was quite messy and I like a theme to my things, um, the whole point that started it was that I was just going to find members at like the cheapest price to fill in like empty slots and it just turned into like a Junko collection because my bias is actually you know, but Junko is like my bias wrecker. So that's where this started. I don't have anything for this era. I could never find, well, that's a lie. I could find it. I never did. I'm probably gonna like sit on my feelings for these because... Like I said, I love ATs, so I don't really know if I want to just part ways that easily. Um, so I am going to like go back to my original plan. I'll look for something that goes in here. This page is filled. We're fine. We don't need that. Um, this collection, I don't have any cards for. I'll probably just do that. Maybe I'll look for something else here. I don't well, I mean, like, I guess I could do that here because, like, this goes here, but then that, like, makes me want to buy. You see? This is just messy. Okay. We have ATs. This is all finished. I really love the last comeback. It filled out a page beautifully. And then these are, like, their treasure pieces. Thankfully, there was nine, so they all fit in here, and then they stopped doing it. Um, they were cute. I didn't really care for them. And then their perfume things, and that's that. I think let's do let's do twice next. I really like twice. They're also coming back. I just pre-ordered their album sets, and I saw that every girlie is getting five photo cards, and each album comes with five photo cards. So you could you only have to buy one album to collect everybody. And that's kind of tempting. It's kind of tempting. I don't know what I'm going to do with that information, but it's so tempting. All right, here's twice. I also don't have any fillers for them, but I don't collect them. I kind of have been toying with the thought of collecting a member from them and Stray Kids, but I don't know. Um, for this, we're going to work backwards. Stray Kids, messy section. Well, it's only messy for like the bigger inclusions here and I like refuse to go through and clean it and sort it all out because it is overwhelming to me so we're gonna put it there and call it a day um, as long as like the photo cards are organized that's all that matters um, so yeah I kind of want to collect them as well but I don't know I really like Pulling them. I don't really know how like my mind justifies like, oh, let's collect this group or let's just keep the pools. Um, but that's how it works. Um, also, I was like wanting to buy either two photo cards here to like complete the page because that's what like the rest of them have, except for this. I'll probably like try to find something else. I was also watching um Brad or like Brad. I forgot how he like I don't know, is his channel name like Braddy, but but like with an eight, I forgot how they said it's supposed to be pronounced. Um, but I found him when he was like before he rebranded. So it's just like Brett to me. But it also seems like we're on a first name basis and we are not. He was like making fillers for his collections. And I did that with Monstex, but I'm like not in the mood to do that again. Um, but I saw 
that he had an extra extra photo card lying around um and he did it like this to just make it like a placeholder and i thought that that was kind of like smart um because now in my mind i only need to buy one photo card i don't know does that look dumb can you see him on the back of that uh, you can but i can just do this ah, none the wiser i mean like faintly you can see him mm, not really i feel like that could look dumb but that's a discussion for another time so we already have 18 straight kids twice um let's just move mc and d in here they could probably go into the miscellaneous section and i also don't know if i want to continue to collect them or not should they go in here i finally caught up with their albums but i just don't i'm gonna move them into miscellaneous too who else should go in here Probably nobody, right? In theory. But then that's like everybody that's in here and it's kind of like big in here. So this section is miscellaneous too. The paper is like a little dirty here, but that was really not enough reason for me to print a whole nother copy just because of like a little smudge. Waste, waste of paper. And we don't waste paper in this house. I need water. Now let's be honest here. This is gonna be like really sad. It's really sad. I think we should put God 7 at the very back. Only because I don't think they're coming back anytime soon. I would love to like, yay, they're back. Uh, but I don't think like they'll give us a physical album anytime soon. Possibly. I don't know if ever. I don't know if that's like too dramatic. Not really sure. So we're going to just put them in the back because having to flip through them every time is really annoying because of some of these bigger inclusions um they move around a lot so as long as they're like in the back i won't have to deal with them and be upset oh not me about to put them in the front um yeah also i still kind of want to like collect some photo cards from them but like i don't know I've been seeing a lot of their older albums like on Macari, the English one. I haven't really looked for them on like Bai, but I don't know. I feel like sometimes they're like a really good price and then sometimes they're just not that great of a price. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to like go back and collect it. I might just go back and collect like the photo cards from the albums instead, like maybe what the amount of cards that could have been in it or just like enough for a row because I don't really want to spend like $60 on a album. I get they're like not in print, but I don't, I don't really know. So that's up, up in the air since a lot of times the albums are just albums. They don't have photo cards. Who should go up front? A lot of them don't have like a. Com I'll just put MC and D up front because they kind of have a complete section, whereas like I have all their albums, so like they're completed. Everybody in here besides Got Seven has a super tiny collection. That's why they're going in miscellaneous too. They're just their collections aren't going anywhere um, because of me or because of their companies. So yeah, card can go uh should we we'll put red velvet next they're a group that like i've been wanting to go back to get their older albums but i stopped because like i just started collecting others or like other things became priority i don't want to collect them member wise because i think it i don't know i feel like they might be too hard to collect but i, I also don't know that so not really sure probably expensive to collect exo i'm gonna be completely honest exo is a group that i'm not sure if i want to continue to collect um i love them they uh started me off in k-pop with growl back in the day really got me through high school um, but i don't know i i don't know if i have this feeling because one their albums are hard to find if they're older two they just haven't been coming back frequently so i feel like i haven't been focusing on them but that's like part of the reason why i feel like 
I am keeping up with them. It's just because they aren't coming back that I feel that way. But I did pre-order their newest album. And then, I'm not gonna lie. They're, they have like member versions. Uh, I may have done a thing because he's back. Um, I bought just version two, I think, of the photo book. And then I bought Hyang Soo's album. I don't know. The teasers look so freaking cute. I really, really love them. Um, should BTS go next? I don't know. Butter is really good. Um, so we're going to talk about some of them later. CLC. They really don't have like... They really don't have a section. I really want to continue them, but I think they're... They might their contract might be ending soon and I think they're gonna disband because Cube genuinely hates them um I would love to see them like flourish elsewhere instead of Cube like literally holding them back I despise them so I don't know if like this collection is gonna grow at all I don't think I would get rid of these cards they would probably just get moved in the just because binder there's some stuff in the back um helicopter that was too big to fit in like the actual thing does she fit here okay we'll put her here and then these two can go in there oh okay we'll just put the girlies here they're probably gonna move around famous last words they're always moving around in these pockets okay that's that's the CLC section. Um, who's next? Let's do day six. I feel bad because I haven't been keeping up with day six like I wanted to. We'll do BTS next. BTS. They are also a slow growing collection only because I don't buy all four versions of their albums. And typically they only have one um, photo card per album. So that's why their collection is kind of small. I don't know if I want to still go back to their older albums or just keep what I have and like just look forward to newer releases. So yeah, I don't know. I think I might just put these postcards back in the album. There's really not like anything going on with them. So I'm just going to not put them here. Okay, so we have... What did we put in here? We have MC and D, yes, CLC card, BTS, GOT7, Red Velvet, and Day6 are all in here. Now for my girls on the choppy vlog. Um, 17 is like a really big questionable one. I started collecting with You Make My Day and then an Ode and then Hangare. That's the only albums I have. Plus I have their very like their debut album, but it's just like big postcards that I didn't really want to put in here. Um, but they're one of the groups that I really haven't been rushing to like buy their newest albums. I didn't buy the last album that they had with Home Run. I forget what it's called, but I didn't buy it and I still haven't because I feel like there's other albums that I want to buy first rather than that. I do love Seventeen. They still continue to make nothing but bops. So they're just like very questionable in my oh they're still very questionable in my mind i'm also realizing i think i forgot to put some day six things no so i i'm gonna leave them i'm gonna probably make this binder the just because binder for now um yeah i will probably see how i feel about their like i think they're coming back soon i think too many people are coming back and it's like hurting my wallet so they just might be in like the miscellaneous two binder the slow growing groups but i really want to like take more time to think about it because i don't want to like give up the collection and then end up being like really sad about it later on and like having to repurchase it chunga i don't collect her at all i was kind of wanting to but i didn't um but i am gonna keep this and like the whole album because i bought it when i was with my friend in california so it kind of holds like a memory it's more than just like her album which was really good um but it holds memory so that's why i'm gonna keep that um it's the only album i have from them 
and their collection is not going to grow anytime soon but I really don't want to get rid of it because I love them so that's going to stay um I probably will just put like the postcard back in the album though I don't really want to put large inclusions in here probably will put this back in the album as well I don't want to tear it apart but it just takes up an unnecessary amount of space and lastly secret number I love them I do I still keep up with them to this day but I we got that boom I think their last comeback I didn't rush to get the album and I believe it sold out so I don't really know about it I think I'm just gonna start supporting them like streaming wise on YouTube they're very active on their YouTube channel I think um so I'm just gonna follow them there and probably not collect them album wise so that right now is like the only group that i'm for sure not collecting like i said 17 is kind of on that list i'm not really too sure so i'm gonna just keep this as like just because i wanted it to binder and that's that's what we're gonna go with next up is pentagon obviously the collection is kind of slowing down but like look at it it's it's on its last leg it's going right over so we need to we need to help her out so let's go ahead and get everything moved over now um yeah i guess there's not really much to say about pentagon i'm gonna continue to work on their collection um but i'm just taking it like most recent comeback at a time so since uh, love or take is the newest one and i'm not finished with it i almost am though but when i do like my final like farewell makari shopping experience um i will look out for some of their older al um, albums some of their older photo cards i did see a few of their older ones but they were like 25 dollars for one and i'm just like i'm not really into that <laughs> I'm not really into that price point. I know a lot of people say that they've like easily spend that on one photo card. It couldn't be me. It could not be me. Well, it has been me in the past, but like for out of print albums, but people say that they buy that for like in print albums. Makes me concerned. So we're gonna just continue with this. I feel great. Are these three inch? Oh yeah, these are three inch. I bought them when I was at Target for the <laughs> for the um, TXT albums. I forgot what I was at Target for. Okay, but that's a lie. I bought one on Amazon with like the pack of four, but then I decided that I might as well just buy one more because I was originally gonna put Monstrex, just keep them in the black binder, but. The more I thought about it, they're kind of outgrowing the binder and I would just rather like everything continue to be the same. Now we're at With, where the co completed collection begins. Oh, so beautiful, except the scratched cards. I just haven't looked for them. The way it's like kind of filling up though is like, ooh, love or take. I think it's going pretty well. This one I have Yuto's, where did he go? Right here. I have Yuto's. I like, I haven't really gotten much trades in, and I just like uploaded a collective haul, so I really don't feel like doing another one. So I just thought maybe I will put in what I have, which is clearly this one Yuto photo card and the Leah photo card. So that's so nice. Yay, I'm almost done with the covers, but I feel like I'm at the point where it might just be best to buy the covers that I'm missing um, because I found them for like a few dollars and then just sell my extras um, because every time I look for them on Instagram, it's just like, it's not there, it's not happening. This section is, or this page is really messy. I don't want it in here. This page, she will continue to fly. Look at that, like my pages are bent. Look at that. It's bent. Shouldn't be that way. This page is fine. She's Texas memories. Um, what a fun time. I miss Texas. I really do. Here is the Pentagon binder. And we still have quite, quite a few comebacks to be like okay in here. I don't know if like 
Will it get to the point where like I need a four inch? I don't know. I truly don't know. So, oh my gosh, look at that. So beautiful. Our last binder is Monstex, but I have an exciting announcement. Read it. Read that OT7 collection. You read that right. You heard it here first. I am finally collecting. Wait a minute. If the mailman was just here and with drama was delivering my albums, doesn't that mean technically my albums are sitting outside? Let's check my uh my gmail because i should probably bring that in not that anybody like in my neighborhood would like thief but i don't want them like sitting out in the heat no i knew they were gonna do it oh it's supposed to be here on monday now so apparently monstax and txt are both gonna be delivered on monday which is fine because that's like a day i work from home I've been wanting to fully collect Monstax since I started collecting, um, but I always felt like they had way too many cards and I was like a little nervous for it. Um, but you could only put something off for so long. And here we are. So I don't have any fillers. That's just the theme of today. No, the battery is dying. Let's take a break. I'm going to clean up my space and then we can like come back after the camera charges a little so okay so in my time away i went ahead and <sighs> i hate there's like one or two comebacks left in this binder um which is sad because it's a three inch binder but i went ahead and just added the pages that i would need for what i'm planning to collect i just put group photo cards um i'm not gonna really put them like in like any other section I guess um but they're just right here as kind of like a divider between Monstax and then one whole solo album um well his solo work I have all of the pieces here the ones that like I already have which seem like a lot but these are just stuff that like I collected on the way
I'm gonna go ahead and figure out what I want to do with these. So that was me moving everything over. We can have like cohesiveness when it comes to binders and it's not like a million different colors that don't match each other coming at you. Um, and the the start of my OT7 collection from Monstax, honestly, long time coming. Last year, when I started collecting, Monster X was like on the, the list for wanting to collect, but I was so scared. Now look at me, like three comebacks behind. So yeah, anyways, I am gonna go sort out my mess now and probably just go shop on Macari and make bad decisions. And I will see you next time, bye.